we can have to go big, big countdown coming. Yeah, it, it is hard to believe that uh, Oprah is, is, her last days are upon us. And let me tell you guys, uh, the sinking feeling that everybody is getting, well, they um, have given it a name. It's called Empty Oprah Syndrome. Millions of her loyal fans are starting to exhibit symptoms. I'm not kidding. Why are you laughing? It's understandable, though. For 25 years... 25 years she's wow. been there for us. We've laughed, we've cried, and she's made us all feel really good about who we are no matter what dress size we are wearing. So, all she's ever asked us is to live our best life. I'm Oprah Winfrey, and welcome to the very first National Oprah Winfrey Show! For a quarter of a century, she's made us smile. <laughs> Shake our heads in astonishment and scream in delight. But next week, after 25 years of aha moments, 67 pounds of fat, the Oprah Winfrey Show comes to a close. These years with you, our viewers, have enriched my life beyond all measure. Placing legions of viewers in a state of sad disbelief. How depressed are you that Oprah is leaving us. Devastated, don't go! I've been watching Oprah for the last 25 years of my 50 years of life, and I'm going to miss her dearly. Some psychiatrists say the feelings of sadness and loss are real. People have been in love with her, and, and in love with the show, and they associate it with a, a point of stability, a real rock uh, in their lives. People are gonna have to grieve it. The queen of talk has outlasted four presidents, played a critical role in electing a fifth, and has been a daytime constant through 9-11, a pair of wars, and a deep recession. Leading the charge to fix- Marianne Douglas is among fans who have filled their DVRs with episodes of Oprah. So she is one of us. She's our ultimate girlfriend. Comforting Douglas when Oprah goes off the air are some of the favorite things she scored when she was among the heroes Oprah honored last year in her annual Favorite Things episode. Douglas was invited to Oprah's special giveaway show to reward her for an anti-bullying program she founded. She has been a role model for not only me, but for millions around the world. She is um, a model of what we can be if we really want to be. Tina Volpe says in the 20 years she's been watching, Oprah has changed her life. She credits Winfrey for giving her the strength to leave a job she hated and to embrace the inner passions she's laid out on an Oprah-inspired vision board. I just don't think that there's anyone out there like Oprah. There's other shows out there that are enjoyable, but there's nothing that really touches your spirit and reaches your heart and your mind and your soul the way that Oprah does. The Nebraska woman says she can't bear the thought of watching Oprah's final show alone, so she'll join hundreds of other Nebraska fans and watch the finale at a movie theater. Similar viewing parties are being held throughout the nation, including at New York's Paley Center, a veritable shrine to the history of television. Oprah was unique and perhaps the last great broadcaster that is able to just bring the whole country together. The thing about Oprah is, even if you didn't watch her show, you were really aware of what was going on in that show. It was part of the national conversation. But not to worry, Oprah's legacy will carry on in her magazine and her new television network, OWN, which launched in January. But Oprah loyalists say television just won't be the same without her holding court on the mainstream airwaves every afternoon. It's just the best woman to really look up to in, in modern day society as far as, as a hero. Yeah. Will anybody fill her very beautiful shoes? No. You have a little crush on Oprah. I love her. I would love to marry her. <laughs> Now's your chance. <laughs> Will you marry me, Oprah? So, what's a fan to do when the Oprah curtain falls on May 25th? With, with empty Oprah syndrome, you, you look elsewhere. You're glad that she's on to whatever else she wants to do. And meanwhile, you, you remind yourself of what she's done for you. It, essentially, you know, she's given you a gift for 25 years. And that gift won't disappear. And that's the way she'd want you to think of it. Thank you, America! So if you have colleagues or employees who are mysteriously ill on May 25th, understand that they are suffering from an acute case of EOS. 
empty <laughs> Oprah syndrome. Give them a hug and tell them the cure is tuning into OWN. Wait, there's going to be a run on Kleenex <laughs> next Wednesday. There really will be. And you talk about, you watch That's it. A, I watched it back in high school every yeah. single oh, sure, every day. day. Every day. It's, it's remarkable that it's finally coming to an end. I'm going to file that one away. Is that true? That is true. Wow. She's Oprah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. From the very first. From the very first. And she got a nation reading again. That's another that's thing. True. Losing yeah, the book club true. is a devastating thing. I hope that continues in some form yeah. Yeah. because she got good. us reading again. Yeah, I'm sure she would approve of the thermal hoodie. That wow, Sam has on. We're, back, we're back to <laughs> it. That might have been a very a, so a, a, a Christmas, you know, the <laughs> favorite, favorite, favorite things. things. Favorite things. Thermal hoodie. Thermal the shoes, hoodies. Actually, the shoes are my favorite. Okay, oh, you know. <laughs>